Okay, we've exported our clip out of Final Cut Pro for DVD Studio Pro. Let's hold down the Apple key and press Tab, and let's tab over to DVD Studio Pro. I launched it earlier. So now we're inside of DVD Studio Pro. Before we can get started with DVD Studio Pro, we actually need to set up DVD Studio Pro. The first thing that I want you to do is click on Window, and I want you to go to Configurations, and I want you to choose Advanced. It's actually easier, trust me. The next thing that we need to do is set up our preferences. Let's click on the name DVD Studio Pro, and let's choose Preferences. It's gonna open up the Preferences window. We wanna click on Encoding, and we're actually gonna do a standard definition DVD, so we wanna make sure that we have the MPEG-2 SD tab selected. I'm gonna leave my aspect ratio at four by three. I'm gonna leave the drop frame box checked because I shot this on mini DV and used drop frame time code. If you're unsure, leave field order on auto. Now down here's the really important stuff. Under mode, here's how this stuff works, where it says two pass, VBR, or variable bitrate. This is actually better quality video. One pass would be lower quality video. Here's how it works. When it says two pass video, it analyzes the video clip twice to figure out the information that it can throw away and the more important stuff that it needs to keep to make your picture look better. So, but it does take a lot longer than say one pass. So if you're in a hurry to make a DVD, choose one pass encoding, but it's not gonna be that great picture. It's not gonna be that great of a picture. So we wanna go with two pass. And then down here where it says bit rate, this is where we need to ask ourselves how long our DVD is gonna be. For example, if you're gonna do a two hour DVD, you're gonna to have to lower your bit rate almost maybe between three and five megabits. So ours is only five minutes long, so we can actually leave the quality much higher. Now I don't recommend setting your max bit rate above eight megabits. Some older laptops that were the first ones to have DVD players cannot play a DVD where the bit rate's too high. If you're making something for a corporation and you know they have older laptops, you might wanna set your max bit rate, say to about 6.5, okay? And we'll set the average bit rate to 5.5. Our motion estimation should be left on best. Now down here where it says method, we have background encoding and we have encode on build. If you have a fast machine like a G5 or the new Intel Mac, leave it on background encoding. If you're using an older machine like a single processor G4, you may wanna do encode on build. What's the difference? Well, while you're designing your DVD, it will render your QuickTime to MPEG-2 in the background. If you have a slower machine, if you try to drag and design buttons, it may take a little longer to react. If this happens, you wanna choose encode on build. So what this means is you'll design your DVD and then when you go to actually burn your DVD, that's when it renders your stuff to MPEG-2. So it takes a lot longer to actually make a DVD. We're gonna leave ours on background encoding. All right, our settings are good for now. The next thing that we need to talk about is destinations. I'm gonna click on destinations. This is actually where we're going to render our clips to MPEG-2. So I'm gonna to go to the FireWire hard drive that I'm working on. I'm gonna to go to my folder where I have my film and I wanna choose the folder once again for my DVD. I'm gonna click on choose. So this is where it's actually gonna render my files to MPEG-2 and it's gonna place them in that folder. All right, I'm ready to click OK on my preferences. Now I can come down here to assets and I can click on import and I'm gonna to go to my FireWire hard drive and let's go to our folder. And here's our clip, it says movie edit. And notice it's only 476 megabytes because it's a reference file. Let's go ahead and click on import. And now we've imported the file in. Notice how it splits our file into two clips. We have the video clip and then we have the audio clip. It does this just in case you may want to use a different language. If we scoot over here a little bit where it says status, you can see the encoding progress of the clip. If you don't have status, right click right here and choose status. So notice the green ball that's there. That means this clip is ready to be burned if your DVD is finished being designed. Now you can see the encoding of, of the video is gonna take a lot longer than it did of the audio. So there's the progress. If we zoom in and take a closer look at that, you can see that progress bar. It's gonna take a while because we chose the two pass variable bitrate. All right, so I'll come back and talk to you when our clips are finished encoding.